Hi, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe for all new videos and remember to click the notifications bell to be notified for each and every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, we're going to be opening a package from Wish. I ended up ordering another mannequin head. This mannequin has blonde hair. It also comes with some hair accessories. So let's take a look and review this mannequin head. So it looks like it's got really good packaging to keep the mannequin head and hair safe, along with the other items inside. On Wish, you can buy different kind of mannequin heads from different sellers. I'll leave a link in the descriptions on where I purchased this one. So when I purchased this one on Wish, it was selling for $22 with $13 shipping. They do change their prices over time, so keep an eye out on their prices, as you may be able to find a cheaper mannequin head out there. Every seller isn't the same. So I'll take a look at the mannequin head and hair in a minute. We're just going to review a couple of the other items from in this package. First off, we have the mannequin table clamp. This will hold the mannequin head up while styling and doing the hair just by clamping it to the table. It just comes in pieces, so you have to assemble it yourself. Next, they sent a little plastic yellow clip just to clip the hair up when styling the hair. And the third thing is some elastic bands. And the last thing is a topsy tail. There's two of them inside, one is large and one is small. I will demonstrate on how these work closer to the end of the video. As you can see inside, there's some instructions on how to use it, just by using the pictures, even though it's in a different language. Okay, let's get back to unbagging this mannequin head, checking out the quality of the hair and how long it is. I don't mind the blonde color of the hair and it feels very soft. If you can see, there's like little waves in the hair. The hairline looks pretty thick. She's got really bright lips, brown eyes, and a long ponytail. So it looks like a pretty good quality mannequin. So there's a hole at the bottom of the mannequin that you can mount onto your mounting bracket. Instead of using the one that they sent, I'm just going to use the one I already have. So I can see already, I'm going to have to trim the ends of the hair. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to have it more of an equal length. You can check out some of my other videos on refacing mannequin faces if you're not liking the color of the eyes and the lips. So the hairline looks really nice. Let's check the rest of the head. As you can see, it's a little thinner compared to the hairline. Some mannequins that you purchase do have different thicknesses of hair. This one has more of a thinner hair look, where you can see more of the scalp. You can see the thickness of the darkness around the hairline. So for doing updos, pulling the hair back will make it actually look a little thicker than it is. So it's time to give it a brush test to see how much hair comes out the first brushing. You will expect some hair loss. This is normal. As you can see, the brush glides through the hair really smoothly. And I'm really liking the color of the bright blonde hair. This will make for some nice updos. So after giving the hair a good brushing, this is the amount of hair that came out of the mannequin head. Okay, now that we've got it all brushed out, you can see how straggly it is at the bottom. 
Depending on how long you want the hair, you can cut it to the length that you want it. Right now I'm just going to trim off the ends just to clean it up a little bit. I can cut more off later. If you are a hairstylist, you'll already know this. You do not want to use professional scissors on synthetic hair, as this is a synthetic haired mannequin. I'm just using some regular craft scissors. Here's the amount I just cut off. So here's a closer look at the back of the head. You can see this mannequin has very fine hair. And here is the side of the head. This doll has synthetic hair. As far as I know, you can use hot tools in it but not on a hot heat, only medium to low heat to curl the hair. If you don't want to risk melting your doll's hair, just make your doll's hairs wet, put it in rollers and let it dry. That'll give you a little extra curl. If you're looking for some curl or wave in the hair, you can see there are some shorter strands of hair, just the way they inserted the mannequin hair. Here I'm just going to show you how well the bobby pins stay in the hair. You can see when I pull the hair back that the hair actually looks pretty thick, even though it's not. The pins sit in quite nicely but giving the head a shake, they do slide out. With some of the other mannequins I have had, I have had to curl their hair just for the pins to stay in their hair. But with this mannequin, the pins actually are not too bad in the hair, as this hair has a little bit of a weave to it helps the pins grab onto the hair to hold into the hair a little bit better. So now I'm going to demonstrate these topsy tail tools. They are a very flimsy plastic. Using topsy tails are simple. Just have a ponytail, poke it into the middle of the ponytail, loop your hair through the loop, and then pull straight down. Doing this gives a twist in your ponytail to create different styles.
and here is the mini one. If you'd like to see some of my updo videos, you can head on over to Diamond Style. It's linked in my information or in the links below. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to follow along. I just wanted to show you quickly how they worked. It's quite easy. Using this tool can come handy in different styles, helping weave hair through other hair. And of course the hair clip, clipping up or back any hair in the way. Also a quick way to section the hair. It's too bad that they just sent one and not two. This clip has little teeth inside to help hold the hair in better. So if you're looking at purchasing a mannequin head doll, I would recommend this doll as it would be great for styling and updos, great for practicing and learning how to do hair. If you'd like to check out some of my other videos on different mannequins that I have purchased from Amazon and Wish, feel free to check them out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.